Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from wherever you are in the world. I'm going to make you a star. Actually, I'm not. If you're trying to break into the entertainment business as a crew member, whether that be on events, film and television shows, or even onboard cruise ships, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to make that happen. So let's go. Alright, so I want to first start off by saying uh, welcome, thank you for stopping by. This is a brand new channel, so this video in particular is going to be an introduction to uh, my experience in the industry as well as some of the things we're going to be going over in the videos on this channel and you can determine whether or not this is going to be the information that you're looking for. If you're new here, consider subscribing as I'm going to try my best to make sure I have at least one video up every week and keep that momentum going with more and more information. So I started off in the entertainment business when I was about 17 in North Carolina where I did a lot of concerts and um, circus shows, rodeos, uh, all different types of national acts. Uh, where I did a lot of spotlight operation and lighting technician work, uh, a lot of rigging. After that, I got a job on a major cruise line. I only spent about maybe three months on it. I didn't really care for it, and I left there. And I would continue it later on in my career. And then when I was about 22, I moved back up to New York City, where I'm originally from. And there I got myself into the uh, film and television industry, where I I did a little bit of production assistant work and then I quickly moved up to doing grip and electric work where it was a lot of rigging, a lot of lighting, uh, movies, television shows, music videos, commercials, I mean you name it I did it. And I continued that for about four maybe five years and then I moved out to the other coast and I uh, continued that work out in Los Angeles and I was there for about a year. I came back to North Carolina where I continued in the film industry there. I joined the union there for uh, a little while. I was there for maybe about a, a year, year and a half. So then I decided I was gonna work on cruise lines and I got a, I got a job as a uh, broadcast technician. I quickly moved my way up to manager and I continued that work for about three years. Then I kind of grew tired of that whole world and now I'm back into this freelance entertainment world where I'm doing uh, corporate events uh, and stuff like that in the uh, North Carolina area. So here's how this channel is going to break down. We're going to be going over three specific parts of the entertainment business, film and television, cruise lines and events. So instead of you having to try and find which one is talking about what you're interested in, for instance, if you're, if you're only interested in cruise lines, I don't want you to get bombarded with stuff that might be talked about in film and television. You, you're just going to skip over it. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to break all three of those down. So if you're looking for something just for cruise lines, I'm gonna have cruise ship crew. If you're looking for something in the film and television, I'm gonna have film and television crew. If you're interested in events, sporting events, banquets, concerts, stuff like that, I'm gonna have events crew. It's gonna be broken down so that you can navigate the channel exactly the way that you want to. Also, whatever I title in the video is actually going to have that. I know we've all come across YouTube videos, for example, penny boarding in an airport. 10 minute video of pen and boarding in an airport. Sounds great. And then you click on it and you go through the whole 10 minutes and it was 20 seconds of penny boarding in an airport. Everything else was just a waste of time. That's not what's gonna happen here. Things that we're gonna go over are gonna be stuff like resources. Uh, how can you find jobs? How can you find the next job? How can you keep working? How to uh, network in a freelance environment? Uh, things of that nature. Uh, other things are gonna be not so much of just getting that first job, but more importantly, 
where you can continue to keep working so that you don't have to just do it part-time and then go bust tables part-time. You can actually supplement work with other work and you can actually do this full-time as a freelancer and make a career out of it. I also have some behind the scene footage of working on particular movies and television shows. I also have a lot of footage of working on the cruise lines, such as where we ate, what the crew parties were like in the crew bar, where we slept, the different types of cabins. And as the channel grows, there's gonna be a lot of questions and comments from you, and I'll be able to put together some videos where I do question and answering as well. I also have little tips and tricks for each industry, uh, especially a cruise line when you're going to different countries and little secret spots spots that um, most guests and tourists and stuff wouldn't know about. There will also be videos where I explain different types of tools that you can get to make your life a little bit easier while you work in each specific industry, uh, as well as what you should pack when you're going for an event job or even when you're signing on to your first contract on a cruise line. As I said before, this is a brand new channel. Consider subscribing as I'll be uploading videos real soon. And uh, hopefully this works out for you and you can get the information that you're looking for.